So right before I did this reading, the little Joker came out. Um, it's gonna be a little brother, but now the big Joker is on the top of the deck. I was seeing some sort of maturity or a level of maturity that you all could be moving into. Okay, this could be uh, financially also with the Queen of Pentacles. I feel as if uh, a lot of responsibility that you have right now, Ten of Wands, it could be kind of burdening some, but it's like, it's like, it's like little joker, but it's like when you kind of feel burdened, you like to handle things in a more immature kind of way. Not saying that's a bad thing, but as opposed to the big joker, I see a lot of you all handling a lot of your worries, a lot of these uh, um, responsibilities in a more lighthearted fashion. Um, seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. You could be wanting to figure out how you're going to break up this money that you're getting or some sort of finances that you're getting. How you're wanting to divide it, how you're wanting to do something. Ace of Swords, so that is the truth. Jack of Swords, Ten of Swords, Jack of Wands, Queen of Swords, Five of Wands, Four of Wands. So home, 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 something about, uh, uh, something about a foundation. All right, but a fun foundation. The Four of Wands, the, 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 usually the number 10 talks about home and foundation. The Four of Wands also talks about some sort of ceremony. So a, a welcome home ceremony, um, a marriage, uh, a, 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 some sort of ceremony, cerem uh, harmonic or ceremonial energy in some sort of household foundation with the energy of Ten of Cups and the energy of the Ten of Pentacles followed by the King of Swords. So I feel as if uh, you could want to invite something or you could be getting some sort of invitation um, to something you're also, all right, to a home welcome party or a home gift or something. There could have been a King of Swords energy here that, gotten, that got a home of some sort and uh, I guess did not reach out to you or did not choose to communicate with you about this. Uh, let's see what's going on because they view you as competition. Even though they want to, they want it to work with you in a certain sense. This could be two fire signs. This could be two fire sign energies. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Five of Swords energy here also. We have the Ace of Wands here. I feel like this, you excite this person sexually. I also feel as if uh, creatively you inspire this person. Okay, this person could want to talk to you or speak about some sort of creative or uh, passion product or about something that. Um, Possibly is making them really self-fulfilled. This could be something from the past that you and another individual, three individuals more specifically, were involved in or did. All right, Queen of Wands energy, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you all um, are in this very just uh, self selfish energy. Okay, the Queen of Wands is selfish. She's not a bitch, but she's she's that bitch. All right, um, Nine of Pentacles energy here. So definitely talking about um, independence. All right, yeah, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. All right, this could be about a Queen of Wands getting their independence from a King of Wands, or a Queen of Wands energy moving into financial stability and independence, and moving into a King of Wands like energy, having to step up to the plate, having to um, verify certain things. Okay, I feel like a lot of you all getting verified. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the King of Cups here. So it could be a water sign energy also here. Or these are two energies that you kind of work through. The King of Wands energy, the King of Cups energy. You can have two heavy water sign um, placements. Three, or you can have you can you can have a heavy water sign placement and a heavy fire sign placement. I'm, I'm getting I'm, I'm also hearing a fire trine. All right. So some of you all could have that in your charts. We have the Eight of Pentacles followed by the Two of Diamonds. So I'm definitely getting some sort of, something that. Um, you have been growing and nurturing. The Eight of Pentacles talks about um, something that, obviously, is something that you've been working on or some sort of material harvest or foundation that you've been growing and nurturing. All right, I feel like as if you're getting ready to get cut off or get your piece up, yeah. But the Six of Pentacles, this could have been something in the past that you were working on that you were harvesting, manifesting, nurturing, watering. Um, and I feel as if you're about to receive uh, this okay? with the Ace of Pentacles. That's the perfect depiction for exactly what I'm saying. A clover. You're about to receive this. Okay, you're moving into this energy. All right, we have the seven of pentacles. I feel like with the seven or not the pentacles. I, I I can't stand when I do that. I have the seven of hearts here, the seven of hearts and the two of hearts and then the ace of hearts. Wow. Yeah. I feel like this is a journey 
you, a lot of you all could have had to cut off a lot of individuals that you had ties with emotionally, emotional trauma, trauma bonds, whatever it may be, all right? But I'm also getting, with the seven of hearts, I'm also getting kind of weathering down what actually fulfills you, getting to this ace of cups here as yourself, as an individual. We have the king of, of pentacles here. So I feel as if you're coming into this at the perfect time. You're coming into this kind of emotional fulfillment, like completely like filling your cup to the core. Like like you, you, you have everything that you need quite literally is what I'm picking up with the ace of hearts and the king of pentacles. With the ace of heart and the king of pentacles coming back to back, first of all, you're emotionally fulfilled. Second of all, you're rich or you're financially stable. So all in all, you have everything that you need. With the four of swords here, followed by the eight of hearts, and then we have the eight of wands. Damn, we have eight eights. So this is something that's going to last for some time. Uh, I'm also getting generational. So this is something that your kids' kids, when you die, your kids' 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 kids are going to have access to. Okay. Five of pentacles. Five of hearts. All right. Seven of pentacles. Some of y'all may not want kids is what I'm getting. Energy of five, five. Four of hearts, three of hearts, wow. Okay, literally, dude. It's like, wow, five, four, three hearts, okay? It's like, definitely, it's like figuring out where, figuring out what actually fulfills you emotionally. Getting to that place, that center, okay? More specifically is what I'm getting. P poking out of this spread is the ace of pentacles. So I'm getting a lot of money, all right? You are money. You could be money, bro. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, this is, there could be an idea, a concept of something that you're working on that you have. It's money. Nine of wands. I get like something is, is hot. All right, six of swords. All right. You cannot be communicating this. Something about some sort of betrayal. All right, this could have been some sort of social media betrayal. You could have had a lot of people really just, like, really, really bruise you, your heart. And I, I'm an empath, so I really feel that energy because of your success. Six of or jack of clubs, dude. Because of your success, because of your financial sitting, because of who you are as an individual. Seven of pentacles, seven of wands, eight of swords. It's like still these people, these motherfuckers won't say nothing. They won't tell you the truth. Like, comment, subscribe.